Hey guys, it's Adrian, and today I have wonderful news. We finally have 24 7 recording for the Eufy Cam S3 Pro as promised. So, let me walk you through the setup process getting the S3 Pro firmware updated and setting up 24 7 recording in the Eufy app. So, a couple things to note about the new firmware update for the Eufy Cam S3 Pro. So, it says that anytime there's motion events, it's gonna record in 4K quality. However, when there's not any type of motion going on, so whenever it's just kind of idle, um, it's gonna record in a lower resolution when idle. So we'll take a look at what that resolution is gonna be. We also need to be on the latest um, version of the app. So for iOS, it's a version ending in 1623 and on Android 3792. And the camera must remain continuously powered by USB-C cable. And they do recommend that you purchase their official cable, which is gonna have, um, you know, kind of weather sealing on the connector end here. So I'll link that down in the description if you wanna pick that up. And then you must have a hard drive installed in your home base three to have this continuous recording. And then you also will have to set the Wi-Fi connection in uh, multi-bridge mode. So we're gonna go through all of that now. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the Eufy app is currently updated. So I'll long press, tap on the eye icon and scroll down to app details in store. And it doesn't say update, so I assume I'm on the newest version. So when I open the app up, um, this is gonna be the camera. So I took it down to do this video. So I'll just go ahead, plug it in by USB-C, just in case I need that during setup. So I can see it's actively charging and I will go into these settings. So full settings and then we'll go into general about device and then we'll check for that firmware version and I see it right here tap on update so it says the home base is updating as well and I could see that right at the bottom there so just let it do its thing all right, so the firmware update has just finished. That took about a good 20 minutes, so just be very patient. But if we jump back into the settings now and we go into general, there is a new option here called Wi-Fi connection. This was previously not there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that and then under multi-bridge Wi-Fi settings, we can see that that's enabled, which is one of the things we do need to have for 24 seven recording. So now that we see that, we know everything is good to go. So let's go into now Power Manager and I can now tab over into Direct Power. So let's do that. And now it shows uh, video is too short. Want to capture longer and more complete footage? Try this mode and you can get the following features. So pre-recording for four seconds and 24 seven continuous recording. So we will turn that on and go ahead and plug in by USB-C. We need five volts. Um, so I do have it plugged in. I'm just going to test that to make sure. And it is turned on successfully. So that's great. Um, aside from the really long update, everything looks good. Now under direct power, um, we have a couple of options here. So optimal surveillance video clip length up to 60 seconds, or we can go to customize the recording. I'm going to do that right now. And I'm just gonna put it to two minutes and I'm gonna disable the option to end clip early if motion stops, because why not? I do have continuous power now, which I can see. Under advanced settings, so pre-recording is turned on and let's go into continuous recording and we do want to turn this option on as well. So we do have it here all the time, 24 seven, or you can do it to schedule um, for certain days and times, but no. I'm just gonna put it to all the time, 24 seven. That's what I want. All right, so everything is set up for 24 seven recording and I've let the camera run for a bit and let's just take a look. Now, it's not readily apparent. If you go into events, you're not gonna see the 24 seven recording. Instead, you have to click on this playback icon right here and you can see we now have a horizontal timeline for 24 seven recording. Now, I'm just gonna turn the volume down. Microphone pickup is great. Um, but yeah, the huge chunk is where there was a motion activated trigger and remember that I did set mine to record a maximum of two minutes. I mean, it is plugged in, why not? And then in between the next two minute recording, you can see this light blue area or kind of, you know, um, this uh, dim area and all that means is the camera did not detect motion in here and that's why I can't download it. Now, if I go over to the triggered motion event, you can see I can go ahead and download it. Now, one thing I wanna point out is the email said anytime it had motion triggered events, it would record in 4K quality 
And anytime the camera was doing idle recordings, it would download or uh, record in a lower resolution. But I've not found that to be the case actually. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's let that download. And you can see right now the download button is missing. So I'll start a manual recording of um, this idle uh, recording clip right here. So let's do about five seconds there and it's saved to my phone's album. And I'll just jump into my phone album right here. So here is that five second clip and here is the two minute clip with the motion activated event. Now, if I go up, you can see this is a 4K clip, 2840 by 2160, 15 frames per second with the HEVC codec. Now, if we go over to the five second clip that I just recorded here, let's take a look. And again, that is 2840 by 2160 HEVC again. So there doesn't actually seem to be um, a drop in quality actually with uh, the manually recorded clips. Here's another one I took right here. And again, you know, it's showing full 4K recording. So everything seems to be in 4K, even with idle recordings. Now, maybe that will change later, but right now, uh, kind of day one of 24 seven recording, looks like it's 4K recording across the board. So I'm just gonna jump here. Uh, right now it's 12.06, but now I'm at 11.38 and you can see it's doing the idle recording and the quality um, clarity looks great. Same as with the triggered recordings and I'll just go all the way let's say around uh, 12 p.m., so about six minutes behind. Give that a second to load up, and there we are. Now, if I try to push it all the way to current time, uh, this is saying 12.34, which, is, which has to be a mistake, but let's backtrack it to 12.03, because it's only 12.07 right now, and you can see that it's not actually rendered out that video yet. So there's a bit of a delay. Let's go to 1201. And that looks like it's loading up. So, you know, 1201 to 1207, maybe a five to six minute um, kind of delay or gap until it kind of renders that video out. So my setup process was pretty easy, but it did take about a good 18 to 20 minutes to get the firmware updated both on the cameras and on the home base. But if you're running into any issues, just leave your questions down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back and help you out. As always, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one soon.